Last time I was here, seven years ago, there was an understanding amongst the dealers not to sell crack. But somebody broke that agreement. Consequently, crack spread across the city like a plague. I've only just arrived, and already I'm in a crack den in one of Rio's notorious favelas. So you've got, I would estimate, in the region of 70 to 80 people here. Everybody has got, um, so you lay, you can see where the crack's been laid over there. You can simply uh, put some heat to it and suck up the side of it. And this is just a water cut. Obrigado. Obrigado. It's very difficult sometimes for the camera to totally give you the impact and the feel of a place. But if you look at what my feet are standing on, there are people sleeping on these sharp clay tiles. There's filth everywhere. It looks like something after an horrendous earthquake that's been left to rot for about 15 years. And people are quite happy to spend a lot of time here as so long as they're, they're breathing in crack. The boss who runs this shanty town has chosen this abandoned house so he can keep a tight rein on the addicts. The guys that sell the crack don't want the people that are smoking the crack in their community, so they've given them this disused set of buildings to exist in, but they've obviously lined this up so they can also keep them here. You keep people here, the more inclined they are to want to use more and more of the stuff that you sell. So it's all part of the business. And to keep some sort of order, there's a manager who runs the place. How do you feel? Really? It's a crazy drug. You run this place, you're in control of this place. How can you control it if you're smoking all day? And what's the longest that you've stayed awake for? 11 days. Can you tell me what the rules are? Are there set rules? Roubar não pode, morador não pode. Roubar morador. Tem gente tomando tiro na mão, tá roubando na favela. Are there more people coming here now than ever before? So before they go and drive a big bus, they come here. Yeah. The euphoria of the hit lasts for seconds, but this highly addictive drug has trapped many of the people here. London, yeah, you speak English. Your mother lives there. From London, yeah? Your, your mother lives in London, yeah? My mother and my brother. Yeah, yeah? All my family are there. Gonna take this to London. You can take this to London, yeah. Take to London, put my face in... Yeah, we will do that. television. We will do To say that uh, my mother has seen me and come to... Don't get Taking you. me home. Yeah? Is that what you want? It's a what? I say every day to Jesus Christ. I pray every day. That's what I want, that my mother and my brother see me and come to help me because I think that only with them I'm gonna stop. This is a desperate scene. 80 odd people hidden from view, living from hit to hit on one of the most addictive drugs in the world. This highly addictive drug is rapidly spreading to the suburbs. Soccer mums, white middle class kids, and businessmen are increasingly using heroin. Dealers are eager to exploit this new market, and law enforcement seems unable to prevent the spread from the ghetto to the suburbs. We travel down the 290, nicknamed